Hello folks and welcome back to Let's Play IL-2 Sermovic Iron Man um, And once again we are flying with the RAF Protecting ships in the English Channel That's our day job Hopefully we've gotten used to it by now um, Last time we did okay actually We shot down two 109s Which I'm pretty stoked about still um, And then we crash landed again Which I'm not so stoked about But hey, <laughs> whatever Um so, yeah, not bad. Uh, this time we're going out again to protect some ships. This time anchored ones. We're not, we're not protecting a convoy this time. So a little bit of variety, apparently, is, is, has been awarded to us. Sadly, no promotions yet. Looking to get up to flying officers so we can actually do some, you know, have a bit more fun. Um, and a bit more command of the whole fight in general, actually. Instead of being subject to the whims of our slightly brain-dead commanding officers um, but hey um, let's, yeah, without further ado let's just get on and do this basically let's do this let's do this I am playing this immediately after finishing the last mission as I did with the one before that actually I'm going all out tonight three three missions for three um, what can I say I'm having fun and I'm glad you guys are enjoying these videos as well I really genuinely did not expect many people to be remotely interested in this game but it seems, turn on the head tracking, um, it seems I was mistaken, actually. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it, because I'm enjoying the crap out of it myself. It's one of the most, some of the most fun I've actually had doing a Let's Play in quite some time. So, that's good. How many people have we got this time, then? One, two, three, four Spitfires. And a crap ton of Hurricanes, which will probably all get shot down. Just like the last bunch did, and frankly, chaps, you don't have an excuse. I flew a hurricane for, I think, 14 missions as part of a Malta campaign, actually, um, uh, some time ago in this game. And that was more difficult than this was, because in that campaign, I was fighting against BF-109 F-4s, which are, like, way better than the BF-109s we're going up against right now, and I was in a sodding hurricane for most of that, and I still managed to get about 16 kills, if you can believe it. It's the best campaign I've ever had to date. Um, so these chaps back there in their hurricanes, they've got no bloody excuse. They need to do better, frankly. I know that's not saying much coming from me, but, you know. The green fields of southern England. Hello. I am continually perplexed as to why you have better textures than my own airfield, but never mind. Hopefully we can land at said airfield this time. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, looks like we got some low fog in the um, valleys here. Interesting. Yeah, in the river valleys. Hmm. Well, I'm going to flick on autopilot, who is probably going to throw me around all over the place. Um, and I will return once we've made our way over to Dover. So, um... Ooh, looks like, um... RAF Hawking's an active airfield for this mission. It's coloured in red, which means we might have some help from there, which would be nice. Ooh, same goes for, um... Kenley and... West Morling, actually, by the looks of things. Interesting, interesting. This could be a big mission, folks. A big mission indeed. Hmm. Well, I'll be back when we see something interesting, I suppose. TTFN. Yes, yeah, squadron leader, let's fly low and slow. I mean, we've done it the last 200 times, and I tell you what, the last thing the enemy will be expecting is for us to do the same thing we've done 200 times again. Oh dear. Well, at least we're climbing now a bit, but I think it might be too little too late at this point, frankly. Let's see, well, we're just coming over Dover. Um, there was a big, gigantic old fat stutter a minute ago, which means that Germans have spawned into the game. And considering how bloody big the stutter is, I'm going to guess it was a lot of Germans. So, yeah, it looks like um, Dave's um, Spitfire senses are tingling again. 
troubles on the way. I have a really bad feeling about it too, to be honest. I I don't want to jinx myself, but I'm um, just saying, folks, today could be the day. All it takes is for one lucky bullet to get through this windscreen and pop into my head and then we're done. Or for a lucky 109 to get some good hits with his cannons and then just make us explode on the spot. Yeah, not good. But we'll see. All's quiet on the Western Front for now. Eerily quiet, I might add. We'd usually have spotted someone by now, but... Uh... I guess I'll be back. When and if... We, uh... Find something. How many of us are there, by the way? One, two, three, yeah, that's just the four of us. I don't see anyone else around here. I don't know where the hell those hurricanes bug it off to, but, um, yeah. I'll stay on with it. BRB. Hun bombers, tally ho, 12 o'clock, apparently. Yep, there they are. Looks like we got the altitude advantage for once. Um, no one seems intent on keeping it, sadly, but, uh, yeah, there's a lot of bombers. I just want to know where the fighter escort is. That is my chief and only concern at this point. Right, we've got some planes dancing around there, but I, I'm not convinced they're fighters. Uh, this looks like the fighters coming in here. Could ignore them and go after some Stukas or whatever the hell those are. But, uh, me and tail gunners, you know, we we have a love-hate relationship. Mostly hate. We do have a nice altitude advantage though, which I'm quite proud of. I think I'm just going to circle for a bit and observe. Oh, go on, give him some. Give him some. Get in there, mate. Uh, this is not a plane well suited to this kind of high altitude bounce attack, climb back up to high altitude attacks. The, the 109s are really good at that, but Spitfire's not so much. Which is why <laughs> I'm in a bit of an awkward situation right now, actually. I think we're going to fly a bit further over here because we've got some guys down here but they're severely outnumbered and me diving down there to my death is not going to help them. Attention. Looks like I'm going to go for the bombers with the rest of the others. What have we got here? Someone shooting at someone. A lone bomber by the looks of things? Interesting. Oh, there's another one over here. Let's trim this aircraft down a bit. Stop nosing up all the time. Alright, this looks like it could be a fairly easy picking. Oh yeah, there's stuff all over the place here. Oh yeah, it's a lone Stuka. He's broken away from the pack for some reason. Oh, excellent. Right. Let's try not to get embarrassingly shot in the face by his gunner. We should have ourselves a fairly straightforward... Oh, come on! Dave, you can do better than that. Jesus. Completely misjudged the distance there. Told you I'm bad at deflection shooting, but hey, whatever. This is probably going to be a shared kill, to be honest, actually. Between me and this other fella. If this guy goes down, of course. He's been a bit bloody stubborn. 
He's on fire. Not going to waste any more time. Right then, what else have we got? Well, something caught fire. Almost certain I saw flames. Did it just burn out immediately? That would be very annoying if it did. Well, I think this guy will probably finish him off. Yeah, there he goes. Alright, let's climb, get a bit more altitude. Oh, hello. Who are you? Looks like BF 110s, possibly. Not my ideal choice of target, but whatever, it'll do. One of them's already damaged. Stop yelling at me, squadron leader. You're an idiot. Alright, we did some damage to him. Definitely. Nice. Um, oh crap, we just wandered into the fighter escort big time here, didn't we? Oh Christ almighty. Okay. I'm not liking our low altitude at the minute either, because if we get shot at, I'm not sure I'll be able to bail out. Well, I could certainly bail out the plane, it's just a question of whether or not my bloody parachute will open. At least it's just 110s by the looks of things, I can just about handle those. 109s on the other hand is a bit of an issue. Come on, there he is. Ugh, this is awkward. Enemy aircraft destroyed, great. Okay, so one of those has gone down. Historically, the BF-110 was a shockingly bad aircraft during the Battle of Britain. They were originally designed as fighters in their own right, but um, eventually they had to have their own fighter escorts, embarrassingly enough. Uh, for the ones in this game are a little bit deadly with their rear gunners wrecking your day half the time. <laughs> oh, shit like that happens. Wow, okay. I got shot on the leg. Who the fuck? Oh, it's another 110. I should have been keeping an eye out for that. I'm an idiot. I deserve that. I think our fuel tank took a hit as well. Our time in the air now is extremely limited. We've got another one closing in on us. Whoa, okay. It looks like we're going to be BF 110 food. Not without a fight. I'll say that much. We really need to get back to dry land though. We're wounded. Engine is overheating. All sorts of badness. I've got a fuel link as well, don't forget. I think my the plane is just behaving really strangely as well, to be honest with you. Yeah, fuck you, mate. Nice, 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 nice. Right, now to deal with you. Oh, boy. Okay. Engine, please don't die on me here. How's the fuel doing? Half a tank. We're also got smoke or something trailing behind us. I don't know what. It makes me nervous. This guy's clearly got more speed than I have. Yeah, you look at the speed meter in the bottom left there. That's a warning sign that something is very wrong with the plane. Hoping I can just try and outrun this guy. Maybe he'll lose interest and bugger off. Hopefully he will. Because I don't think I can take him on. 
I need to get to dry land. Or at least ditch in the harbour over here or a boat can pick me up. <laughs> That's not a bad idea, actually. Don't want to go splat into a cliff, after all. But uh, there's an airfield over here. Let's see if we can make it to that. Let's turn off the whip. That probably isn't helping, to be honest. God, you know what? I don't want to head straight into buildings, either. I can't crash land on a building, can I? Yeah, I'm not touching the stick right now. Look how the plane is just bouncing around. And that's not turbulence either, that's something, you can tell the difference. I mean, it probably doesn't look much different on the video, but you can sort of tell when you're playing the game. Oh yeah, look at that fellow in our mirror as well. Not good. Not good. We're too, we're too low down to be able to bail out in an emergency. So we need to put this thing down. Well, we need to put him down, and we need to get ourselves down. And, while the choice is ours... I feel one of those two choices is not going to end up in a, with a happy ending, frankly. Come on, then. Out of ammo. Typical! <laughs> well, maybe that deterred him slightly, I don't know. But I think I'm going to pancake on the runway right now. And I hope this guy doesn't shoot me as I'm going in for the landing. Fuck it. Cut throttle. I'm not even going to bother trying to land properly with landing gear, I just want to get on the ground and out of the plane. Even though I've been shot in the leg. Shut up, squadron leader. Now, trust me, is really, really not the time. I don't even know where the runway is, I'm just going to clonk it down like this, I think. Screw, screw wheels, wheels are for losers, guys. <laughs> Skid, skid, skid. Uh, get out. Before they come back. Oh, good grief, look at them. Nice running, by, by the way, there, with a bullet in the leg and all. <laughs> yeah, that arsehole was totally going to shoot me up on the, on, the, on the ground. They will do that. Hopefully the AA gunners can make a mess of one or two of them. Well, either way, I'm turning off the head tracking. Um, another written off aircraft. Great. <laughs> oh, dear. My my mechanics are not going to be happy. <laughs> but then again, by this point, I suppose they probably just come to expect it. Uh, but look at all the holes, man. Jeez. Yeah, we took a beating, but we, we dished one out as well. I don't know how many guys we shot down there. I think it prob probably two. Yeah, we 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 uh, we shot down at least one of them while with a <laughs> while <laughs> flying with a bullet in our own leg and an engine that wasn't even working properly. So, hell yeah. They apparently apparently pilot officer Dave can dish it out as well as take it. Nice. Well. Wow, the airfield literally has Hawking written on it. Is that historically accurate or not? <laughs> I have to wonder. <laughs> hmm. I mean, it makes sense. Why the hell wouldn't you write it on there? There's so many airfields around here. It'd probably get pretty confusing if you were a new pilot. So why not write it in big letters? But um, it does look a bit odd. Either way, let's see who's still alive. Oh! The other three of our guys in our flight are still alive, which is good to see. Not much battle damage either to uh, speak of. Looks like they're the only ones up there still alive, though. Well, might as well speed it up to see what shenanigans they get up to. Oh, they're just continuing their patrol. Oh, you idiots. Okay, okay, here we go. Oh, Red Leader, you numpty. Jesus. Oh, he's so boned. He's poked the hive and now... Oh, good God. 
Oh, I hope he did bail out, because uh, his plane just exploded. Holy crap. Oh dear, looks like our wingmen are doomed. Unless JXN here is running away. I hope he is, because... <laughs> That would that would definitely be the sensible thing to do right now, but no, no, apparently not. This is just this is just a matter of time now, really. These guys are dead. It's just a just a case of how long is it going to take. If they're lucky, the 109s will bugger off because I'll be low on fuel or ammo, but... Oh boy, yeah, no, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Oh, yeah, Red 4's doomed. Hopefully he bailed out. Now it's just Red 3. I don't know who you're shouting to, Red 3, everyone else is dead. You've got an altitude advantage right now, why don't you just go? Leave. Before they outclimb you. Gosh, you know what, maybe he is running away now. For the first time I've seen the AI do something sensible. No, apparently not. Oh dear. He's even got BF 110s chasing him. In fact, they're all BF 110s. Oh god. <laughs> this is just embarrassing. Uh, well, this, uh, this guy's just going to get shot down, guys. I think I'm just going to skip ahead in the recording until he dies finally, and then. Uh... I'll be back with a briefing screen, I suppose. Alright then. So, unsurprisingly, yes, he was shot down. His wing came off and he went down in flames. I don't know whether or not he bailed out. Uh, let's see. Hebden. I think that might have been him. Alright, let's have a look at the list anyway. Grace, one kill. Dave, two kills. Hey. Um, Pilot Officer Hebden, one kill. And losses. We lost Grace. He was... Outright KIA, yep, because he exploded. Dave was wounded, Hebden was wounded, and Graves was wounded. Hooray! So if we didn't die, we got sent to hospital. Oh, God. Um, the following targets were destroyed last Yep, two confirmed kills. That makes eight in total. Good work, your commander is pleased. Excellent. Let's hope we can walk again after this incident. <laughs> And you better bloody pin a medal on me at least for that. Good God. Now that's still what happened though. We flew out here, we came across here, and wiggly waggly wiggly over here. A bunch of hurricanes got shot down as per usual by BF-110s. I mean, that is just... Oh dear. Like I said, the BF-110 was a shockingly bad aircraft in real life. For, for, for the original purpose with which it was intended. And yet in this game, somehow it's a murdering death machine, apparently. Um... There was only four BF 109Es, the rest were 110s, and we got massacred by them. <laughs> oh, God. Um, I mean, I was alright. I mean, if my if my engine hadn't given out, to be honest, and my ammo hadn't run out, I would have been fine. I probably could have killed that last one. Uh, BF 110s aren't difficult to fight. Um, if you don't get shot by their rear gunner, then you're okay, because they're so slow and so cumbersome that it's very easy to dodge and avoid them when they come at you like that. If there was three BF 109s coming at me though I probably would have been dead but 110s no, that's fine. It's, they're pretty easy to deal with. Um, not when you've got a damaged engine though to be fair and a, a, a bullet lodged in your in your, <laughs> in your, in your thigh. Um, so uh, yeah, let's see, Grace bailed out. Yep. Wounded. Wow, yeah, that was another another disappointing mission strategically, but another pretty good one personally. Uh, Stuka just crashed. 
shot down by player. Grace got this J87, and this 110 was shot down by the player as well, and then we crashed over here before we got to this bit, which is when I shot that BF-110 in the face. <laughs> Sadly, it didn't kill its pilot. Uh, it would have been glorious if it had, though. But never mind. That's apply. And since we were wounded, we may well be get, get taken out of this part of the campaign and move on to the next one. Um, and I, I don't know how long exactly um, that will actually be, because sometimes it can take you out of the campaign from multiple ones. Um, I have done campaigns before I have missed two parts of it um, before going back into it. So let's, it depends on how serious our injuries are. Let's find out. Uh, you return to active service. Yep. Pilot Officer Hebden wounded and sent to hospital. Dave promoted to flying officer, finally! Yes! <laughs> wing Commander Bloom joined the squadron. We got a new Wing Commander then. Um, July 20th, that was then, the last mission. Hugh joined the squadron. Stuart joined the squadron. Return to active service. Some gobbledygook from the random campaign generator. August 12th now, okay, so we were out for quite a while there, actually. Uh, just under a month. Um, wounded again, damn it. <laughs> this is the second time. But hey, um, we've moved on to... I think, yeah, we've moved on to the second part, I should imagine, of the Battle of Britain. We'll, we're now going to be defending airfields rather than... Um, convoys and we'll probably there's a good chance we might end up getting bombed on our own runways which won't be terrifically fun so we're going to be taking off from Biggin Hill and trying to protect West Morling by the looks of things yeah we'll patrol an airfield that has suffered repeated bombing raids yep looks like it uh, we'll have to try and break up any further bombing attempts um we will lead the second flight look at that look at that look at that I've got three guys at my command now ha I'm moving up in the world. Um, Pilot Officer Fraser. Oh, Fraser's still alive. That's awesome. And he's going to be away a wingman for this. That's just like old times. Nice. Sterling will lead the second element. Um, yep, there we go. And Flying Officer Sergeantson is the tail end Charlie. There we go. Ha! He was in charge of me last time with Sergeantson. <laughs> well, there we go. If this guy is called Jim Sterling, I'm going to just... I'm going to freak out. No, he's Alan Sterling. Well, there you go. Well, let's have a look. 12 sorties, 5 ground kills. How the hell did he get those? Um, he's got a couple of medals, too. Nice. Alan Sterling. He's from Dublin. He's Irish. Interesting. Let's have a look at Fraser. He's still got one kill. 15 sorties, though. He's getting pretty good at this point. Look at that. Uh, whoops, no, by the profile. Benjamin Fraser from London. Seven ground kills. Where are they getting all these ground kills from? I have no idea. He's got the Distinguished Flying Cross. Look at him. Well done. <laughs> um, Bloom, yeah. I wonder if, um, what's his face? HUD made it back. No, he's still sent to hospital. I guess he's not coming back at all then. Um, still got Calvert. So have a look, have a look, have a look at this. Eight kills. Far and away the best in the squadron still. <laughs> in fact, they've placed us up the hierarchy here. Um, just behind Wing Commander Bloom. Odd that we don't have a squadron leader or a flight lieutenant. The, uh, the... <laughs> Our squadron's a bit of a mess from a rank's perspective, isn't it? Oh, well. Well, anyway, yeah, next time, folks, we will be beginning the, probably the most crucial stage of the Battle of Britain, um, as it was in real life. This was the point where the battle hung in the balance and the fate of much of World War II was decided. Um, so, in other words, shit's about to get real. That other stuff we've been dealing with up to this point, that was basically a warm-up. This, this is where it gets difficult, trust me on that. Um... Well, I guess we'll find out just how difficult next time. So, I will see you then. Do tune in again to Let's Play IL2 Stomavik Iron Man, if you so wish. You know, or don't. Um, 
suppose I'm not that bothered either way, but I'd prefer it if you did, honestly. Well, I like making these videos, and I'd, I'd prefer it remain profitable for me, for me to do so. So, um, yeah. TDFN, chaps.